we welcome you live from Tom McKinney Court here at Bloomington North, where the Cougars are facing the Franklin Central Flashes. Glad you could join us on Smithville TV for high school boys basketball. Alongside Nick Jenkinson, I'm Quinn Saturday. And Nick, this is a very key game for both these teams in the uh, conference in in Indiana standings as both of them need this win desperately. Need this win desperately, Quinn. Franklin Central and Perry Meridian are both one and three. Bloomington North, 0 oh and four. Columbus North and Southport are two and two. Terre Haute North, two and one. Terre Haute South is three and zero, oh, and they are facing Bloomington South, four and zero oh tonight. The other games: Columbus North at Southport and Perry Meridian at Terre Haute North. And it is a win. It is a win that both teams need to get out of that conference Indiana basement. And it'll be a very good one tonight as um, we have the starting lines, which we will get to after we get to the national anthem. As we'll go ahead and uh, hand it off to, to them. Yeah, there's still a little bit of time here on the clock. They're counting it down before they make a quick couple of announcements. And then, of course, everybody already on their feet for the uh, national anthem. So the PA announcer, Jeff Aiken, will make a couple quick announcements and then our anthem. And then we will have starting lineups and then varsity tip-off between Franklin Central and Bloomington North here in just a minute. So the starters for the Franklin Central Flashes, we have a, we've been having a, a freshman every single game. Talk about Mason Gonzalez is the freshman at number 10, the six foot guard for the Flashes. Number 14, Michael Santoro, the junior guard, five foot eight. Number 22, Alan Cox, the uh, six foot seven forward. Junior, number 32, Eric Colt, the uh, six foot five junior center, and Nick Hall, the senior forward, six foot five, number 34. Yep. And now we have our Bloomington North starters. For the second straight game, we will not have Liam Wilkerson starting. Instead, we'll have number three sophomore Tim Brewster, number 10 freshman Isaac Vensel. Sophomore, number 23, Jeremiah Blair. Sophomore, number 31, Jack Townsend. And junior, number 33, Ethan Vensel. Yeah, Jack Townsend gets the start for the second uh, straight time, replacing William Wilkerson. Townsend's a kid that's a streaky shooter. Uh, he had 12 points the other night against Evansville Central. Evansville, one thing to keep an eye on, is three-point shooting because Bloomington North went eight for 31 against Evansville Central Tuesday night. They got zoned out in that 2-3 zone. Franklin Central went 11 for 20 last Saturday against Bloomington South for the from the uh, three-point arc. 
So three point shooting will be a huge key in this game. Also free throw shooting, North struggled against Evansville Central seven to 12, while Franklin Center went 10 to 12 against Bloomington South. Here is the tip and it is won by the Cougars. As it comes Brewster's gonna hold it at the top of the court, over to Ethan Bensel. Over to Blair, who's gonna go ahead and shoot the three. In and out, Isaac Vensel gets it. Back to Blair. Isaac Vensel gonna throw it over to his brother, Ethan. Over to Townsend, who will set up the offense. Over to Brewster. Being double teamed right now. Over to Ethan Vensel, who walks before he dribbles. And that is one thing you gotta keep an eye on with Jack Townsend. He loves to, have to come out, set, come off the screen set up to, to try the open three. Franklin Central knows that on the scouting report. Inbounded over to Hall. He's getting double teamed over to Santaro. Back to Hall. Over to Santaro. And it is knocked away by Townsend. It will remain Franklin Central ball. Good job by Townsend to get in the passing lane there. Good hustle play, but it remains, like you said, Franklin Central ball. Over here, the three-pointer, and that's made by Nick Hall, the senior, the own, uh, one of only two seniors on the team, along with Jace Waltz. Brewster over to Blair, he gets blocked, he gets his own rebound, and he connects. So both teams have scored now. You mentioned Nick Hall, he scored 16 against Bloomington South. Jace Waltz, the other senior, 13 off the bench in a losing effort to the Panthers last Saturday at Franklin Central. Cox has the ball. Over into Klopp, back to Cox for three. No good, rebounded by Ethan Bensel. Brewster's gonna go ahead and bring it up. Brewster, back to Ethan Bensel, who's gonna drive the lane. Blair to Isaac, who drives. Reverse layup, no good, but is fouled. Isaac Bensel, the freshman. We, like I said, it's been the year of the freshman here in terms of our basketball schedule. He has been quite something here in his first year with Bloomington North as he makes the first one. Comes into the night with 11, averaging 11 points a game. He is a 68% free throw shooter. He made both of them there, as now the uh, Bloomington North Cougars have the lead. Gonzalez loses the ball and Brewster has it. He's gonna throw it up to Isaac Ventsel who gets a nice free layup at the other end. And a steal right away, and Brewster gets the bucket to go and eight straight points for the Cougars. Bloomington North attacking on the defensive end and getting the points off turnovers. A Santaro, good start for the Cougars. Santaro looking for something. Gonna have it at the top of the key, over to Gonzalez, to Cox. Unable to get it, knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Santaro. Now we're gonna see Jace Waltz, number 20, come off the bench, Quinn. He was the guy, he was the guy off that came off the bench against Bloomington South. 13 points, hit four threes in the game against the Panthers. Brewster out to Townsend. He has range, no good. And rebounded by Isaac Vensel. Behind the back pass and Blair gets it and a timeout is called by Coach Rocky as that's a 10-0 run now for the Cougars. And it's Isaac Vinsel leading the way. He's got four points, a couple of assists, as well as Jeremiah Blair with four points and Tim Brewster with two. It's been a rough year for John Rocky, the Franklin Central coach, 3-11 this season. He told me before the JV game he had seven seniors graduate. He had two guys that would have been seniors this year did not come back to the team. So it has been a rebuilding effort, though he is uh, looking for the future. He's got a lot of young talent, as we saw in the JV game. And he's playing a freshman guard in Mason Gonzalez, 
who is it's kind of like a, a trial by you know a trial by fire effort with Gonzalez. Clashes now will try to get past the full court press of the Cougars. Here comes Santoro. Cox Santoro again. Here's Jace. Waltz in the post who finally ends the 10-0 run for the Cougars. Good job by Jace Waltz to get it to the bucket and get points off the bench for Franklin Central. Eden Vinsel drives to the basket and is fouled before the kick out. Gonna remain Cougar ball. Blair to Brewster, rolls out and caught by Hall. We, we talked about North being an outside shooting team. Right now they're doing the job inside. Santaro not able to connect on that and Blair has it on the run, loses control of it and there's Waltz being guarded by Brewster and a little bit of bumping there and it's gonna be a foul against Brewster. A lot of contact there in this early on. We saw both JV teams get on the floor quite a bit and Bloomington North pulled that one off. Here's Cox and he makes the mid-range jumper. Back-to-back -back baskets now for the flashes as they've cut it to three. Brewster trying to get past Centauro. Cox almost able to knock it away. Here comes Townsend to Ethan Venzel who drives by and is fouled on the way there. Already a third team foul for Franklin Central. And that's the second team foul on Jace Walls Quinn and that's a guy, an instant spark off the bench that now has to sit. And Ethan Vensel hits the three. The other Vensel, weird to say the other Vensel because he's a, he was kind of a well-known name in JV and varsity before Isaac came by, but both Vensels have helped a lot for this team this year, as it is rebounded and brought in. That's gonna be Cox, who gets the bucket off the nice assist from Eric Hall. And he was wide open underneath as North just missed the assignment. Here's Townsend, unable to connect, as that is rebounded by Gonzalez. He's gonna bring it up. Over to Cox. Townsend hits it away, out of bounds. It will stay with the flashes. Good start for Bloomington North so far. They're getting the ball inside. They're still not able to fully get the outside shots to fall, but they're actually getting the inside job done. Santoro in the paint. And there is Nick Hall, who's able to get that bucket. The other senior we mentioned, it's a two-point game. Brewster off of a pick from Ethan Venzel, unable to hit the fadeaway. Rebounded by Satoro, and he gets fouled. And set now to check in is Liam, uh, Liam Wil Wilkerson. Well, as you're just gonna say, we're now gonna see Liam Wilkerson in for the first time tonight. And Wiltz is also back in after taking a short break with the two fouls. Yeah, dangerous play, for, dangerous for John Rocky to put Walls back in there with two fouls early on in this quarter. And Nick Hall hits the three, and that is the first lead for Franklin Central as they are now starting to hit on all cylinders. Ethan Venzel over to Townsend. Gonna drive over to Wilkerson. He's gonna stop, try from 15, no good. Cox with the rebound over to Santaro. Santaro, back over to Cox. I'm oh, sorry, to um, Waltz. Throwing around the perimeter, Santaro drives, stops, cannot get it to go as Ethan Venzel gets the rebound and he starts up the fast break. To Blair, nice move as he's able to get to the bucket. Great job by Jeremiah Blair, slicing his way to the bucket, he's got six. Santoro stops right before the free throw line. Over to Hall, over to Santoro, he's gonna try a three. That hits off the top of the backboard and that 
means out of bounds. Unfortunately, that basket will not count. That got a really nice bounce there, but again, it doesn't count when it goes, hits the top of the backboard, it is considered out of bounds. 147 left in the first quarter. One point lead for Bloomington North. Townsend is fouled. No, he's called for a travel. He's called for the travel, actually. Costly turnover as the Flashes now have the ball. Santoro tries to split two defenders, able to get contact, and that is gonna be another foul on Bloomington North. It's gonna go on Jeremiah Blair this time, his first, and both teams have three fouls so far. Santoro gonna go ahead and pass it. Gonzalez and is lost out of bounds. It will stay with the flashes. As Alan Cox will come back in the game and out comes Gonzalez. Hall. Over. Took. Waltz with the nice mid from the nice baseline jumper. Wilkerson wide open for three and he responds right back. Second three of the night for Bloomington North and the 12th three of the season for Liam Wilkerson. Beautiful passing here from Franklin Central. As Waltz gonna try a three, no good. Rebounded by Townsend. Gonna throw it underhand and then loses it out of bounds. No Spencer in the game for Bloomington North. Yeah, Jack Townsend's had a couple turnovers tonight, just lost that one. Just lost his focus there for a second. Gonzalez back in the game. There's Cox. And Gonzalez is gonna go ahead and hold it for most likely the final shot as we hit 20 seconds left here in this first quarter. Over to Cox in the right wing. Back over to Gonzalez. Back over to Cox. Cox is gonna go ahead and shoot a three. In and out, rebounded by Ethan Venzel. Two seconds left. Wilkerson tries to go at the buzzer and off the top off of the top of the rim. And we are gonna go into the second quarter with Bloomington North leading 18 to 16 over Franklin Central. Welcome to Technology Powered by Smithville. Let our welcoming and friendly staff help you with your technology needs. Stop by to get Smithville Cellular Extra plans on the latest devices. Get routers and tech products at great prices. Plus, if you're a Smithville customer, you can pay your bill and change services. Come see us at the Clear Creek Crossing Plaza or check us out at smithville.com forward slash technology. Technology powered by Smithville, Bloomington's communications and tech store. We welcome you back here to Tom McKinney Court. Bloomington North holding a slight 18 to 16 advantage here as we start the second quarter. And last time we had this game, it was quite an exciting one. It was quite an exciting one. At this one, hoping to live up to it. Yeah, two years ago, uh, Franklin Central beat Bloomington North here when Marcus Burke hit the uh, game-winning three-pointer at the buzzer to beat the Cougars. Marcus Burke now at Campbell University in North Carolina, and Coach John Rocky was telling me before the game that he and one of his teammates from Campbell set a NCAA record. They both hit 10 threes in a game. Never been done before, so uh, he was very proud of Marcus Burke. Two years ago, that game was 50 to 47. Um, the series history is that Bloomington North leads it 11 to nine. Franklin Central has won the last three, but last year, Franklin Central had to forfeit the game later on because of an ineligible player. So, Looks like we're gonna get another good game. 
as they're gonna try to find an open man. Hall is fouled in the post. I mean, in the elbow. That'll be the fourth foul on the Cougars. And the first on Isaac Bensel. Hall trying to get it. He's gonna just drive baseline over Gonzalez who can't catch it. And it will go back to the Cougars. It was a good pass to Gonzalez. He just kind of lost his focus for a minute and lost it out of bounds. Ethan Bensel over to Isaac Spencer to Ethan Bensel. Drives to Wilkerson. Out to Spencer who can't hit the three but Ethan Bensel with the rebound. Bensel to Spencer. Guard in the post and blocked from behind by Cox. And it will go off of Spencer and go back to the flashes. That was a, a questionable call, but a good heads up play by Franklin Central off Spencer and they get the ball back to the flashes. Santoro over to Cox. Over to Hall. Gonzalez, Santoro. Gonzalez gonna try a three. No good, rebounded by Ethan Bensel as the fast break starts. Throws it to Spencer, to Isaac, cross court. He's gonna try the three, no good, and rebounded by Culp. Santoro to Cox, to Culp. Back over to Cox as he's gonna set up the offense. Hall, Santoro, Gonzalez, nice passing around the perimeter. Gonzalez to Hall, back to Gonzalez. This time, Hall's gonna try to th the three, no good. Spencer with the rebound. Isaac Vensel over to Spencer, who hands it to Blair. Blair's gonna hand it off to Isaac Vensel, who's gonna set up the offense. Ethan Vensel to Isaac, who drives to the lane, the up and under, and he gets it to go. It's a four point lead now for Bloomington North. Isaac Vensel with six points, and you've talked about the fresh, the year of the freshman. We've had Trevor Taylor from Edgewood, Connor Hickman from Bloomington South, and Isaac Vensel from Bloomington North all making the impacts on their teams this season. However, that is a second foul on Isaac Vensel. Santoro Ape tried to squeeze by him and drew the foul. And now Jace Walls comes back in. He's got two fouls for Franklin Central. Worked in the first quarter, bringing him back in with two fouls as he didn't collect a third and had a big bucket. Toro to Cox. Santoro again. And John Rocky doesn't have a lot to work with Quinn. He only played seven against Wilmington South and one of those guys, Isaiah Morgan, is out due to injury. It's going the other way now, Brewster. Over to Isaac Vensel. Three does not go down as Waltz eight gets the rebound. Santoro drives to the lane. No good, Hall tries to kick it out, or tap it out, and it goes out of bounds, going to the Cougars. Last couple years, this game, last year, before Franklin Central had to forfeit, it was 71 to 59. The two years before that, 57, 55, and two overtimes, and 50 to 47, so expect to be a low scoring game. Blair almost loses it, but gets it back out to Wilkerson. Wilkerson over to Brewster. Extra pass to Isaac Vensel. Up to Ethan at the top of the post and he drives to the basket and gets the bucket. So far, Quinn, five Bloomington North players have scored. Townsend and Spencer yet to score. Cox at the top of the key to Gonzalez. Over to Waltz who hits the three. A huge three 
as I believe that is the first point of the quarter for the Flashes. It is, and he's got seven points off the bench. He is a true six man. Isaac Vensel to Brewster. Wilkerson to Brewster. Over to Ethan Vensel at the top of the key. No good. And it looks like it's going to be a over the back foul. And that's the third on Isaac Vensel. And now he's gonna have to come out and he's probably gonna have to sit for this final 341 of the quarter. One foul away until Franklin Central is in the bonus for this half. Only three fouls though committed by the Flashes. Centauro gets away with an over the back. As the Flashes keep possession. Gonzalez back to Centauro. Cox, Centauro. Looking for something as Gonzalez drives by. Finds Cox open in the left corner. No good. And that's going to be the third on Waltz, it looks like. Yeah, Waltz called for over the back. So now you've got and John Rocky not very not happy at all with Chase Waltz. Now he's going to have to sit for the final 312 of the half. You were thinking that now that Franklin Center has an advantage since Isaac Vinsel would have to sit for the rest of the half, but now the main score for Franklin Central has to sit out as well. Brewster from the nice pass to Ethan Vensel over to Blair, who can't corral it in, and it's out of bounds going to Franklin Central. And only Franklin Central has already only played six guys so far, so now the fact that you have your six man on the bench with foul trouble, not very, not good, and John Rocky's bench gets even thinner. Brewster thought he could st strip it away from Culp, unable to, and right now the flashes are in the bonus for the rest of this half. The and, that is, and that's three fouls on Tim Brewster as well, Quinn. So you have he, you have two guys that have three fouls already as you got Nick Dolson coming into the game for Bloomington North. Culp able to make that one. The 6'5 junior center for the Flashes. These are the first free throws of the night for Franklin Central as well. He gets that one as well, and it is a one point game. 2.44 left here in the first half. Dolson to Wilkerson from the corner. He gets it to go. And Dolson always seems to make a play as soon as he comes into the game, doesn't he? He always does. He makes a, he, he gets the assist there as Wilkerson gets his second three of the night. Gonzalez to Cox at the top of the key. Over to Hall. Hall gets fouled on the way up and will go to the line. That's two on Jeremiah Blair as Nick Hall at the line for the first time tonight. He's already got eight points. Hall's able to get it through. You mentioned Hall, part of that senior scoring duo with Jace Waltz. He's gonna have to carry uh, Franklin Central for the rest of the half. As he makes the second one, makes it a two point game and he's in double figures with 10 points. Dolson gets a screen from Ethan Vensel. Now over to Ethan, who's gonna shoot the three and he gets it to go. And the three point game is starting to come alive now for Bloomington North. That's kind of how it is when they had a bad shooting night against Evansville Central Tuesday night. They come back and have already hit their four and hit four threes so far against Franklin Central. Cox hits a three of his own as Franklin Central tries to keep pace with Bloomington North. That's the 4-3 that the Flashes have hit as well tonight. Ethan Vensel calling for it and he hits the 15-footer. And we're just seeing baskets fly here in the second quarter. Yeah, Ethan And it's still right here. Ethan Vensel taking over this game. The last seven points now for the Cougars. Yeah, Ethan Vensel already in double figures for the, 
for the Cougars as that is his third game in double figures this season. He had 22 against Northview and he had 11 against Seymour. Cox called for the travel and a big travel at that as we are nearing a minute left and a six point lead for the Cougars. Dolson over to Wilkerson in that right corner. He hits it. The threes are flying. Yeah, and a nine point lead for Bloomington North. Gonzalez and Hall just trying to get it past the midcourt line as they do. Over Santoro to Gonzalez. 35 seconds left here in the first half. And Cox is gonna slow it down a little bit. Here comes Gonzalez, drives baseline, but he steps out of bounds. And a huge chance here for Bloomington North to push this to a double digit lead before half. Yeah, and as Bloomington North, when they go to the locker room leading, they're four and one, they're 0 and seven when they trail. So this will be a huge momentum for Bloomington North going into the second half. Townsend. Trying to get past Gonzalez, he does. He's gonna shoot for three. He's unable to get it as Hall gets the rebound. He's gonna dr drive the length of the court. He's double teamed. Can't get off the shot in time is Culp as that'll be it for the first half. We get some nice highlights. Hall here leading the way for the flashes. Isaac Venzel, both Venzel's done well. That was Isaac right there. Brewster with a nice steal as he's able to get that one to go during an 8-0 run at the beginning of the game. Beautiful pass by Venzel to Blair on the bucket. Santoro to uh, Waltz with a nice job. He has seven points off the bench. And then Wilkerson does what he does best, which is the three-pointer. Nice up and under from Isaac Venzel. And another Wilkerson, you can't let him get open in the corner, not even for a second. And Ethan Venzel with the huge 7-0 run to help give the Cougars the lead as they lead at halftime, 35 to 26, here on Smithville TV. We'll have the second half after this. Welcome back to Tom McKinney Court here in Bloomington North, where the Cougars have a 35 to 26 lead over the Franklin Central Flashes. Glad you could join us here on Smithville TV alongside Nick Jenkinson. I am Quinn Saturday. Nick, as the second half is about to start, what were your thoughts on the first half? Well, Ethan Vinsel, 12 points, his third game in double figures. Liam Wilkerson with nine. He's getting ready to crack double figures for the sixth time this season. Balanced scoring, uh, team effort, and a very good defensive effort by Bloomington North. Uh, a lot of chances. Made a run there in the second quarter that put this lead up to nine. I missed a three-pointer by Brewster, but a foul on the rebound attempt by the Flashes to start off this game. And now a foul on the inbound pass as well. And it looks like it was an illegal, an illegal pick, I believe, because, because now the Flashes have the, have the ball. And Wilkerson will come in for Brewster as that is his fourth foul, I believe. No, they called that foul on Ethan Venzel. Oh, on, on Ethan Venzel. That goes out of bounds. Don't forget, Quinn, North is 4-1 and one when leading at halftime. So 0-7 when they trail this year. So a good Here's sign. Here's to start off the quarter. No good. Gonzalez gets the rebound to Culp, couldn't find a teammate, so he takes the shot himself and is rewarded with a foul. And now that's four on Isaac Venzel, so Jason Spear now faced with a decision as you're gonna see Tim Brewster come back in and Venzel's gonna have to go out. Here's the first one and it goes through. Franklin Central kept this game really close, but North went on a tear near the end of the first half to make it a big lead. So the Flashes have a lot to make up for here as he sinks both of them. Now Nick Dolson's gonna come in and Jack Townsend's gonna go out. 
Coach Spears gonna have to do a lot of juggling here with a couple of his best players in foul trouble. Dolson's gonna go ahead, bring it up over to Blair. Over to Ethan Venzel. thought about it. Drives in over to Dolson, back to Ethan Venzel, and he is called for the travel. That always seems to be a very, that seems to be a common mistake with uh, at the high school level where players run before they dribble on an open three point attempt. As cuts to the lane is Hall, but unable to get it. But rebounded back by the flashes. Gonzalez over to Santoro. Over to Gonzalez. Santoro back to Gonzalez. Over to Culp. Santoro's pass knocked out of bounds and it will stay with Franklin Central. Good ball movement by Franklin Central. They still keep the ball, but Gonzalez has to try to find a shot. He, he is not uh, wanting to shoot at all. He's not looking to score. Gonzalez into Hall. Hall throws it over to Santoro. To Cox. Santoro. Over to Gonzalez, here's the three, and right on cue, he hits a big one, and it's back to a four-point game. Five threes for Franklin Central, Gonzalez his first points of the game. Wilkerson. Over to Townsend. Townsend tries the runner, and the rare two from Jack Townsend as he gets his first points of the game. Yeah, you talk about a rare two for Jack Townsend. He's a guy that Here's shoots a lot. Here's the fast break. Sorry to interrupt. As Cox unable to get it. And here comes Blair the other way. Blair. The scoop up and under. And it's back to an eight point game. You talked about Jack Townsend. His hit, he had coming into the night, hit 22 threes. Just tw five two point field goals. The rare bounce off the ref. The ref does count as part of the court. So players were a little confused on whether or not that was going out of bounds or not. And a timeout called by the Cougars. Yeah, 30 second timeout for Bloomington North. As you look at a guy who should be playing in this game tonight, that is Musa Jallo. He graduated in July and went to Ohio State a year early, reclassified. He should be still here as a senior in high school, but yet he's playing for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Made a quick trip home to Bloomington after a uh, tough loss last night for the Buckeyes. A buzzer beating loss at home to Penn State. Uh, he will be back in town in a few weeks, February 23rd, when he takes on the Indiana Hoosiers in Assembly Hall the same night that he should be celebrating his senior night here when New Albany takes on North and uh, the state's uh, top scorer and best player in Romeo Langford. Here's Wilkerson for three, unable to get it, rebounded by Colt. And Gonzalez is gonna go ahead and bring it up. Scored on the fast break off of Wilkerson's shoe and it will stay with the flashes. But yeah, you were mentioning about that game. I was looking on Sports Center and Penn State, Ohio State has, has recently become just a rivalry of last second heroics. Yeah, in both Ohio, basketball and football. Ohio As State. Cox hits the three pointer, and we're, it's a five point game here. Ohio State came down, hit a three, and with no timeout, as you said earlier, Penn State came down, drained the three to win the game. So, what a game last night in Columbus. Cougars able to keep the ball as Ethan Venzel from the top of the key, no good. Rebounded by Culp, and now Santoro brings it up. Stops on a dime. Gets away with a double dribble as Gonzalez in and out. And a foul on the rebound. And Coach uh, Rocky thought the ball was going in himself. <laughs> yeah, he's got Coach Rocky. I was talking to him before the game, and he's a... Uh, He's got his son, Tom Rocky, is the freshman coach over at Bloomington South. They've got a big one tonight against Terre Haute South for the lead in conference Indiana. Both these two teams trying to get out of the basement of the conference. 
Here's Jack Townsend. As he got the three and he's feeling it right away. Almost gets the steal. And up ahead, two Cox on the broken play. Nice recovery from the flashes. Dolson brings it up court. Over to Ethan Venzel. Over to Wilkerson, back to Ethan Venzel. Gonna drive baseline, tries to get it, no good. Wilkerson swoops in for the offensive board. Townsend, nice dish to Ethan Venzel who is tackled down. They're not gonna count that, that was way after the whistle. But it will, but it is a foul on the flashes. Refs checking up on things. Uh, there's some moisture on the floor, Quinn, after a couple guys got to the, fell on the floor, so they're just cleaning up the moisture here real quick. As Waltz will come in the game for Cox. While we got a second here, we want to thank the uh, hardworking men and women behind the scenes here as we got uh, Stephen Carher, Sharon Schultwalter, Skyler Ernest on the uh, cameras tonight, Rob Ramsey directing the Deer Noon and the Nat Bruner doing replays, David Bloomberg on scores and you and I doing the game here. We thank them for bringing you the sights and sounds of high school basketball each and every Friday and Saturday night. Townsend again for three, wasn't able to get it, but the ball bounces right back to him as he sets up the offense again. Over to Blair. Back over to Townsend. Drives down the lane and gets the bucket to go. And Townsend starting to feel it in this game. Showing he's not just a catch and shoot player, but he can run to the basket as well. Yeah, he's got eight points tonight, just one three-pointer two field goals as well. Like I just mentioned, he had 22 field goal, 22 three-pointers coming into the night, just five two-pointers on the season. So Jack Towson showing some more versatility, got the starting role of the other night, had a good game against Evansville Central, double digits for Townsend. But again, Bloomington North had a real hard time shooting from the outside against the Bears. And Franklin Central called a timeout here as the lead is back to eight. Flashes keep bringing it to like three and four points, but North keeps pushing it back. It's one of those things where, you know, you can't always get over the hump where Franklin Central's so close and they just try, but then Bloomington North ends, always answers the bell every time. Nicole be the inbounder. 2.59 here left in the third quarter. Santoro up to Culp. Over to Santoro. Over to Waltz. Gonzalez. Santoro, here comes Waltz for three. No good, in comes Hall. Hall. Tries to get up the foul. Bloomington North looking for a jump ball, but the refs say that there was contact. So Nick Hall will go to the line. And that will be on Nick Dolson, his first. And as you mentioned, Hall at the line, 12, 12 first half points. He has not scored yet in this second half. Hall will miss the first one. And that is Franklin Central's first free throw miss of the night. They were six to six until Nick Hall missed. It's a big miss for the Flashes. He'll get one more and he makes the second one. And Cox will come in for Hall. As Coach Rocky continuously tries to keep somebody fresh in this six man rotation. Yeah, they're really short-handed tonight. Isaiah Morgan out with injuries. And he doesn't have a lot to turn to. Here's the shot, no good from Dolson. Rebounded by Cox as he's gonna bring it up. Over Santoro. Gonzalez down to Culp in the, 
up there. Culp tries it back down. Can't get it to go, but he gets the rebound. Over to Waltz, over to Cox. He can't get it to go. Culp gets it to go. Just a bunch of batting around, but Culp is able to get the bucket. And a foul when Townsend stopped. That one's gonna be on Gonzalez, his first of the game. Yeah, that's one thing Bloomington North, Jason Spear can't be happy about. The fact that you let Franklin Central get so many second and third chance opportunities, and finally they got it some points out of that possession. Blair's gonna have it at the top of the key over to Brewster. Brewster with the, gets the screen from Blair. Spencer, who just came into the game, loses it. And it's going the other way. Santoro for three from the left corner, no good. Rebounded by Culp. Culp can't get it to go. And Spencer gets it up to Townsend. Almost loses the handle over to Spencer. He's gonna try the 15 footer, no good. But it's gonna be an offensive foul against Bloomington North. That's gonna be three on Jeremiah Blair's. We're gonna have a timeout. And Jason Spear is not happy. He is really after his team right now. Getting in their face. Flash is continuing to scrap, continuing to scrap away as it's a five point game here with 115 left in the third quarter. As just a quick reminder, we will have Whiteland at Bloomington North next Saturday afternoon. Note the time, that is a Saturday afternoon game because girls sectionals championships are that night. So Saturday, February 3rd, Whiteland, Bloomington North, JV at noon, Varsity at 1.30. We'll have that for you. Whiteland plays Mooresville and at Columbus North tonight and Indian Creek on Thursday. North will be at Columbus East tomorrow and then at Edgewood next Thursday. Centauro over to Hall to Cox. Back over to Centauro. Trying to get something. And there's a foul along the baseline. As that is against Noah Spencer. Two more fouls and Franklin Central will be in the one and one. Cox to Centauro. Back to Cox, near mid line. Here is Santoro for three, no good. Brewster boxes out Hall for the rebound. As again, the Flashes just can't get over this hump. Spencer, over to Wilkerson. Wilkerson able to draw the foul from Gonzalez, the senior getting the freshman to commit the foul. Second foul on Mason Gonzalez. Again, we, we keep talking about the year of the freshman. Mason Gonzalez getting the start for the flashes. Wilkerson over to Blair, to Spencer with the nice bucket and the nicer pass from Blair. Back to a seven point lead. First point of the game for Noah Spencer. Here's Cox hoping to get a screen from someone. Throws it to Gonzalez, Santaro. There's Gonzalez to Hall. Santaro gonna launch a three short, and that's gonna be the end of the third quarter. Bloomington North leads 46 to 39. We'll be back with the final quarter here on Smithville TV. The Tivoli Theater in Spencer. Movies, shows, and a warm atmosphere in this historic renovated theater. See the latest films, a local show, or various other acts. Just check the website to see what's on. Tickets are cheap. Most showings are $5 for adults and $3 for children, with concessions very reasonably priced. Regular free movies and special events are also a tradition at the Tivoli. So come on out to the Tivoli. You'll love it. We are back here for the fourth quarter between Bloomington North and Franklin Central here on Smithville TV. Alongside Nick Jenkinson, I am Quinn Saturday. Nick, 
We saw it a couple times there in that third quarter. Franklin Central would continue to scrap, get it to about a four or five point game. Then Bloomington North would push away and it happened again right at the end of the third quarter. It happened right away at the end of the third quarter. Jack Townsend leading away in that quarter with seven points. Jeremiah Blair and Noah Spencer also getting key buckets. Big stat for you, Quinn. When Bloomington North is leading after three quarters, four and one on the year. They're hoping to make it five and one here at this point. When they trail, they are 0 and seven. The Flashes definitely have some work to make up and have a hump to get over as well. And it's a very up. short bench. They've only used six guys tonight too. Here's Hall for three. Almost gets it to go, but that's gonna be a rebounded by Spencer. Here comes Brewster. Over to Blair, outside to Wilkerson, who's gonna throw it back to Brewster. Trying to get a screen from Spencer. And they're going to get a foul against Franklin Central. That's gonna be the sixth one, so one more. That puts Bloomington North in the bonus. That is not where Franklin Central wants to be. Wilkerson throws it out to Blair. Blair trying to get past Hall. Over to Brewster in the corner for three, who hits it? And it's a 10 point game, not the start that Franklin Central wanted, but the start to the fourth quarter that Bloomington North wanted. Santaro to Waltz for three, and he answers back right away. A clutch three for Waltz to get it back to seven points. And double digits for Waltz off the bench now with 10. Isaac Benzel back in the game with four fouls. Gets it to Blair down low. Back out to Brewster, he's gonna try from the other corner. Can't get it to go. Spencer ripped it away from Cox and got it to off of Cox before going out of bounds. So it stays with Bloomington North. Again, this is crucial possessions for the flashes. They've got to get stops down by seven. Brewster with Santoro on him, trying to get by. Throws it to Spencer. Back up to Brewster. Gonna try driving stops to Isaac Benzel. To Brewster, fakes it, gets it to Spencer down low and a foul on Hall. And that's gonna mean the bonus for the rest of the game for Bloomington North. And this is where you wanna be for Bloomington North at the free throw line for Noah Spencer. As he hits that first free throw, comes into the night, 87% free throw shooter, 14 to 16 on the year, averaging four points a game. After a not so good free throw shooting performance in their last game, Bloomington North hoping as he misses the second one right there. Always the curse of the announcer. Always the curse of the announcer. Here comes Hall down deep. Waltz loses it. Hall has it in a scrum. And it looks like it'll be a timeout called from the bench during the uh, scrub pull on the floor. I believe they, as the Smithfield broadcast is brought to you in association by McCray and McCray, attorneys at law. Give them a call at 812-336-4840, serving Monroe County since 1946. McCray and McCray. I believe only one timeout left for Franklin Central. I've got them, you, you get five timeouts, I've got them with actually, uh, Three timeouts left and got Bloomington North maybe with four, I'm not mistaken. It's been kind of a fast paced game, so you know it's always hard to uh, to uh, keep track. But needless to say, it's Bloomington North, as you said, is still extending this lead up eight here as we approach six minutes to go. Santoro over to Cox. Waltz knocked away by Isaac Venzel. It will retain 
be retained by Franklin Central. Santoro. Over to Cox, to Gonzalez. Santoro over to Gonzalez who launches a three and hits it. It's a five point game. This is this area where they're having a little bit of trouble getting over the hump. Here's Spencer with the fake to Brewster, wide open for three, in and out. But it looks like they're gonna be bailed out. And it looks, oh, it's actually gonna be on the Cougars and over the back. So here's a chance right now for the Flashes to get over that hump and make it a one possession game. And one more foul put Franklin Central. <laughs> one more foul puts Franklin Central in the one and one. 5.22 left here. Waltz over. Gonzalez back to Cox. Santoro. Gonzalez back to Santoro for three. He hits it, and they got over the hump finally. It's a one possession game. Big oh. shot by Santoro, his first three of the night. Brewster has it top right. He's gonna go ahead and set up the play. Gets a screen from Spencer, drives to the bucket. Almost gets the N1 as it bounces off of the rim, but he will go to the line for two. And that's big free throws coming for Tim Brewster on the season, a 64% free throw shooter, 76% as a team coming into tonight for Bloomington North. Brewster misses the first one. In comes in Blair for Spencer. And Wilkerson comes out for Townsend. Townsend was a real spark in the third quarter. The Cougars might need him to bring that same energy here in the fourth quarter as that one just rolls in to make it a three point game. That one is knocked out of bounds. Last touched by the Cougars. Three point game here in the final 445. We all know what happened two years ago when Franklin Central won this game on a Marcus Burke three at the buzzer. Will history repeat itself? Centauro loses his footing but is fouled. Townsend's like, I didn't even touch him, but ref not, not going to believe him as now both teams are in the bonus for the rest of the game. And this will be big. This will come down to free throw shooting. Santero's first trip to the free throw line tonight. Here's the first of the one and one and Santaro sinks it. Here's the second one. He gets it to go and it's a one point game. Brewster to Isaac Venzel. Venzel over to Townsend who drives and he gets it to go! The baseline runner, Jack Townsend, two-point field goal extraordinaire. Yeah, something we haven't seen from Jack Townsend much tonight, but he's got three two-point field goals and one triple tonight. A rare from Townsend as he's got nine points in this game. As that's now four fouls on Chase Walls, Quinn. So, more foul trouble for the flashes. Townsend has had all of his points come here in the second half. As he gets that one to go. And right now this, this idea of starting him has really worked out for Coach Spear. Here's Cox for three and he hits it to make it a one point game. Franklin Central has hit four threes in this fourth quarter. Townsend to Isaac Venzel, wide open for three, and he hits it. It's an all you can three buffet. You may want to get the fire department in here, Quinn. The building's on fire, the nets are on fire with this three point shooting tonight. 
out of bounds and it will stay with Bloomington North. As they're gonna clean a little more moisture up on the floor. Eight threes for Bloomington North tonight. Isaac Venzel gonna launch it again, this time way too long as Santoro brings it up. 10 threes for Franklin Central. Franklin Central has really relied on the three in this game. See if they can continue to do it. Santoro, it'll hold up under four now. Santoro thought about it, goes to Gonzalez in the corner. No good, rebounded by Culp. Cox going to go from the opposite corner. No good. Pope gets the rebound again and is fouled. And we, what did we talk about earlier about these second and third chance opportunities? And that's what Franklin Central is relying on. They are getting those opportunities, and now they're getting themselves to the line with this trying to cut this lead from four down to two if Culp can hit these free throws. Culp hasn't scored much in this game, but he has been very integral to this second half comeback from the flashes with his rebounding. He has done a good job. He has gotten seven points tonight. And again, John Rocky has got to keep these guys fresh as Walls comes back in and Cox goes out. Made the first and makes the second. It's a two point game now with three and a half to go. Wilkerson over to Ethan Venzel. Wilkerson to Townsend from NBA range. No good. Rebounded by Hall. And Waltz has it over to Santaro. Two point game. Over to Hall. To Waltz. Goes over to Santaro. Over to Gonzalez. To Hall. Brewster all over him. Tries to get away over to Centaro. And a timeout is called by Coach Rocky of Franklin Central. A smart one with no with nothing happening on that possession. No, he's a it was a very smart job by Coach Rocky to get that timeout. He's had four winning seasons and he won four straight sectional championships up there at Franklin Central. As you look at the North student section. I don't know what it is, Quinn, but when these two teams play, it's, a, it's an exciting game and it comes down to the wire. Forget Penn State, Ohio State close games. This is, this is the rivalry here of close games. Yeah, it's been exciting. Of course, two years ago, we talked about Marcus Burke hitting the three from the corner. As I was talking to Coach Rocky before the game, he mentioned that Burke and a teammate at Campbell University in North Carolina hit, both of them hit 10 threes in a game, something that has never been done in NCAA history. So I know that they had congratulations to Marcus Burke and his teammate on that feat. And I know that was a very exciting thing. Franklin Central, if you don't know, has a couple of, uh, has three former Indiana All-Stars and two of them are guys that went to uh, that school to the north that we play, that the Hoosiers play in Purdue University. Their most famous guy, Jawan Johnson, also Patrick Beatty, who were former Indian All-Stars and Purdue Boilermakers that are. And here's the pass right around as the nice passing around avoiding the turnover as that is Cox who ties the game at 57 with 239 left here in the fourth quarter. Townsend now, the freshman Gonzalez on him. Gonna slow down the pace here. Under two and a half now. Townsend drives to the bucket and is fouled. That's gonna be Waltz and that's gonna be it for him. Oh, actually no, that's gonna be on Gonzalez. Yeah, Walls got lucky that they, they bailed him out. That would have been all for him. And that's gonna put Townsend back at the line. Townsend misses that one and free throw troubles again. They happened in their last game right now. 
haven't been able to close the door here in this fourth quarter. Hasn't closed the door again. These are humongous free throws for Townsend. He makes the second one to give the Cougars a one point lead. And you know both teams are now gonna come with that press. Santoro to Waltz. Santoro's gonna have it now at the top of the key to Cox. Over to Gonzalez. Here's to Gonzalez. Back over to Santoro. To, to Waltz. Gonzalez is gonna have it and gonna reset it. Finds Cox right underneath the basket, but good defense to close in right away. Back over to Gonzalez as we reach 145 left here. Back over to Cox, to Santoro. All was on the ground, but was able to get back up. And a timeout by the refs, as it looks like the floor is a little slippery underneath the basket. Yeah, want to make sure that they're they're safe and they get get the moisture cleaned up, and you know, you don't want to have anybody injured here, as this has too, been too good of a game for it to end with somebody getting hurt because they're too much moisture on the floor. Here's the inbound from Hall over to Santoro. Over to Cox, to Gonzalez. Back over to Santoro. Gonzalez, they keep trying to work it around the perimeter. Gonzalez thought about it, decided not to. We're reaching 115 left. As Cox has it to Santoro. Great defense by the Cougars as Gonzalez trying to get it. Loses it, but Santaro gets it over to Cox. Und we're close to a minute left. Cox in the left corner, oh, left wing. Now in the left corner. Trying to get in. Over to Hall, back to Santoro. And Brewster picks the pockets him. And a dive on it right there at midcourt. Will it be jump ball? Will it be timeout? They'll call jump ball and it's gonna go to the Cougars. Both teams, both Jason Spear and John Hiraki tried to get timeouts. The official did not get that. Now Jason Spear is trying to get another timeout. As he is way out on the floor now to get the ref's attention. But what a, what a, Big risk and a big payoff for Tim Brewster to poke the ball away. Yeah, and luckily they just the jump ball called. Possession arrow still with Bloomington North. We've got 43.1 seconds left here, Quinn. What a game it's been. Uh, we got Whiteland and Bloomington North next Saturday afternoon as JB will start at noon. Excuse me, Varsity will start at 1.30. Bloomington North will be at Edgewood next Thursday night. Rare that they play on Thursday, but the girls sectionals are next week. So they're trying to play on different nights so the girls can get their turn in the spotlight with sectionals semifinals on Friday and then the championship games on Saturday night. So the boys will play in the afternoon while the girls get the spotlight next week for the sectionals and just remember we're about a month away from the boys starting the postseason as well so it's a very exciting time here as we uh, near the final month of the season for boys high school basketball here in Indiana and so a lot to be decided in that final month as well as Blair will be the one to inbound he's going to give it to Brewster he's going to be able to Still needs to get over the half court mark, and he does. Down to 35 seconds left. Brewster trying to get by Santaro. Throws it over to Isaac Venzel. Over to Wilkerson. Over to Townsend. And Townsend is fouled with 26.9 seconds left. And they put a lot of, they took a lot of time off the clock not fouling. But Franklin Central still has a chance here. 
Townsend two of three from the line all here in the fourth quarter. Townsend's been the hero here in the second half. Trying, has some clutch free, has some uh, very high pressure free throws as he misses the first one. He'll have one more. And he gets it to go. And that's gonna be a timeout now for Bloomington North as Coach Spear is going to try to set up the defense. Yeah, set up the defense. Bloomington North up by two. 26.9 seconds to go. Would you try to foul at this point? Put Franklin Central at the line instead of maybe Franklin Central trying to hit a three to either tie or win this ball game? It's a little different. I'm I'm not used to coaching. Back when I could, I'm, I'm not very used to like coaching without the shot clock, so I think it's going to be very interesting. I think you go for whatever shot, whatever the first available shot is, I think. As you see, Jason Spear instructing his team, but the, all the assistants, Jabril Conde, Connor Basie, two former Cougars, Ben Jones and Mike Sakinik all having a discussion as well. It'll be interesting to see how Bloomington North sets up their defense. Do they foul or do they let Franklin Central try to, to tie or win this game with a shot? You got 26.9 left. Ian Bounders Hall over to Santoro. He's gonna try to get it. He still hasn't gotten it over midcourt. He does now. Over to Gonzalez, to Cox, over to Hall. Hall over to Santoro, over to Cox on the left wing. Running out of time, here's eight seconds left. Over to Waltz, Waltz needs to do something. It's stolen by, stolen away by Brewster with 2.3 seconds left. Franklin Central took way too much time and that is it for Nick Hall. He is fouled out of this game. Brewster can end this game if he can make both of these free throws. He's one and two from the line tonight. He gets the first. Two point three seconds left. Here's the second, and he gets it to go. 2.3 seconds left. And they're gonna call the, and Franklin Central's gonna call their last timeout. And the refs right now are talking right now. Looks like Bloomington North got that timeout. It's actually the Cougars. Because it looks, it looks like Franklin Central doesn't have any timeouts left, so that was the confusion there. But a very exciting game, and Bloomington North is going to get out of, get their first win in conference. Indiana is again, that guy should be still playing here instead of Ohio State, but he's, uh, that's Musa Jello reclassified a year early and playing for the Buckeyes and new coach Chris Holman. Ohio State having a great season, Quinn. They'll be here in a couple weeks against IU on February the 23rd in Assembly Hall. Musa Jello will face his hometown school this Tuesday in Columbus. That game on ESPN2 at 7 o'clock. So I know he is looking forward to facing the Indiana Hoosiers, his hometown team. Here we go, final blast, and intercepted by Ethan Benzel. He's out of bounds. Look, actually, it looks like he got fouled. There's no, two gonna, seconds left on the clock. They're gonna call him for stepping out of bounds. And he is gonna be stepped out of bounds.
0.2 seconds left here on the clock. Going to throw it over and a volleyball spike by Ethan Benzel to end the game as Bloomington North pulls out the win 61 to 57 over Franklin Central. As we look at the highlights here from the second half, but this game, this was an excellent one. It was a three point barrage here. Blair, the nice drive to the bucket. Townsend hit the three. And here was Jack Townsend, two point shooter extraordinaire. Wilkerson with a nice to Blair to Spencer on this one. And then a nice three pointer right there from Santaro and then another one right here. Excellent job all around. Townsend with huge contribution here in the second half as that's gonna be it here from Tom McKinney Court. For all the men and women behind the scenes for Nick Jenkinson, I am Quinn Saturday. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week at Bloomington North.